protein leverage hypothesis. So this is something that is important to understand. A little science you only hear, but I think this is the key to a lot of people's weight loss because basically it says that our body will be hungry until one of two things happens. Either A, we get enough nutrients and our body says, okay, I'm full, you're good. There's still some mindfulness that needs to be going on there. That's why we practice eating to 80% fullness and it's a, it's a experience we sit down and we're not just shoveling food in our mouth um, or b the second thing can happen um, that makes us stop eating is that those nutrients just never come and because we're eating calorie dense food not nutrient dense food we stop eating way after we should because we're about to go into a coma for example um, we all know what that feels like you guys probably know what i'm talking about but that information right there that that is very very important it's utterly useless if we don't know how to apply it so to do so we're talking about sometimes breaking food addiction, probably working through some personal stuff, and mainly we have to develop the habits that allow those things to happen. If I tell you, hey, there's this thing called protein leverage hypothesis, it really helps us to, to eat the right amount of foods for our body where we're at, and then we just add in a little bit of exercise and movement, and boom, we're off to the races, but you don't have the habits in place in order to do that, you're not gonna be successful. That's why we use our habit development workbook, right? That's why we've worked through that and broke all that down. So that is very, very important to develop the habits in place that allow those things to happen. That is why we focus on that at Fitness Made Simple University.